Manchester is a bright and vibrant city that is home to four diverse universities that welcome students from around the globe every year. But how well do these students really have it? With mental health crises on the rise and student dissatisfaction rates through the roof, where do these students really stand? Being in my 20s is kind of scary because I'm sort of becoming an adult and I don't really get to choose not to. For the past multiple years I've been very lost and didn't know where, where I'd go, who I'd be or anything. I feel like when I came to uni I was almost entirely sure that this was what I wanted to do and I could see myself doing it for the rest of my life. But now that I've developed more and become more of an adult, I've realised that I don't quite want to do this yet. For the past two and a half years, I've been very lost and didn't know how happy I would be if I had kept going the way I was going. And I didn't think it was right for me as I went on. I think my enjoyment for learning, my enjoyment for computer science was vastly sapped from me. The feeling of lost, was very much paired with the feeling of loneliness, sort of feeling not abandoned, but feeling alone and that I thought I had to take on everything by myself now that I was becoming an adult. If you feel lost, then the best thing to do would be to find someone who can, who knows the way, you know? A friend, a family member, you know, anyone can help you out of a dark place. I think I found the right friends who were able to do it for me without me even realizing. When I'm, when I'm hanging around with my friends, chilling, we were listening to music, we could be doing anything. Any time spent with a friend, just not being alone, I think. You can ease your mind at any moment. You can like, vent to a friend. You can talk with a friend about problems. They help you. you. You don't have to make decisions on your own and your friends can definitely help you make them. Being a young adult can be stressful a lot of the time because I guess a lot's expected of you like once you become an adult that you're just meant to integrate. It's a, it's a big change. I knew what I wanted to do, but I wasn't sure what the right steps was to take. And you know, when you're not in the best frame of, of mind, it's it's hard to like set yourself out with a realistic plan. Uh, I would define feeling lost as just being in the in, in a place where you don't you don't know where where you're meant to go, and th there might be things around you, but you know. No, nothing necessarily feels like it's pulling you anywhere. What helped, what helped me find my way was help from family and t take a step away from my life and look at it from a different perspective and that when you feel lost then you can't make the connections with, with other things because if you spend too much time trying to look you won't find it because it's hard to find exactly what you want if you have to embrace what's, what's around you. I think a lot of people forget to check up on their friends, myself included. Just like I would be grateful if someone reached out to me, I think it's so important to check up on your friends and make sure they're okay. I remember in my darkest moments wishing someone was there. Friends can really influence your whole headspace or at least help alleviate what you are experiencing. They can either serve as an emotional support or a great distraction. I personally find one of the hardest things growing up is not really knowing where your future is going as well. I feel like a lot of the reasons why I ever feel lost are because I never know where 
I'm going to be in five years from now. And I feel like there's a sort of scary thought in not knowing what the future holds. When I came out of uni and got my job and moved from my hometown and now I live on my own, it's a lonely world and I think that's something that everybody when they grow up and become an adult will probably have to go through with something in their life. They'll have to go through a sense of loss and a sense of grief almost for what they had in uni or in high school or in college. I'm worried about becoming an adult because I feel completely unprepared. It's my first time coming out of the safety of the education system where you have all the backup and support you need and I just don't feel ready to be an adult. I feel like I'll get lost. I don't feel like I know what I'm doing. Being a student is really stressful, especially in a pandemic, but any time it's really stressful. Um, this has probably been one of the hardest years of my life in my mental health. I'm just nervous to let people down. I feel like I've had a lot of support, you know, of people and I just don't want to let them down. Trying to complete my master's job. It's really difficult being a training teacher. Um, so one thing about growing up feeling the stress of kids, like an athlete, rather than being a student is really stressful, especially in the group. Hi, my name's Laura Halliday and I am an integrative therapist, which means that I take different techniques from multiple modes of therapy and tailor those to what the client is, is seeking um, and kind of personalise that treatment for them. One thing that we have noticed in the last decade as, as therapists is that the rates of anxiety related disorders in teenagers has steadily risen. It's kind of, there's several hypotheses around that and why, why that's risen so much. So from social media and digital hyperconnectivity to heightened external pressures and simply a greater awareness of mental health, which is therefore leading to more diagnosis around that. You know, we can look at reframing anxiety and there's been a change in recent years around how, how society views stress. So there's somehow a misunderstanding as around stress and anxiety where our culture now sees it as they're both as pathological. But the upshot of that is that we've got adults and young people who are stressed about being stressed and anxious about being anxious. So anxiety is normal and a healthy function, but it's when those levels become untenable that they are, you know, there are strategies for dealing with that and that's part of how we develop strengths 